it, it's, it's been a very statistical game, you know. And, and you can't bet every time right and, and, and just get a, a big score out of it, as you all know. Yeah, my, my point was more of like, at that point of time, you may not have seen it as a uh, you know, killer idea, killer business idea, and later on it became, and then, oh, wish we could have invested in that. No, not yet, because remember, we are investing in India. We started investing in this fund in 2006. Just about the time the Indian VC industry is beginning to be, it's very really nascent, it's just coming together. So there have not been lots of exits from venture capital yet. So the story is not written, so maybe I will regret and I'll call you and let you know what I mean. So last two questions before we wrap up yeah. Q&A. One question which uh, I am going to ask about India. How can the <coughs> alumni, NIT alumni, can play a role in making uh, policy decisions and things like that so that India becomes a better place the growth which we see in India, which is happening only in the big cities, if we go to the a little uh, uh, remote places in any part of the country, you go to see what kind of things happen. The group is here, very bright group is here, uh, people are doing well also, but we don't have a say in the policy making. How do we address that area? How can we, as a group, how can as individuals, we can play a role into? The leadership of the company. Can you throw some light up? It's a very tough uh, question, by the way. I mean, you guys, what you're doing here itself is remarkable. I want to give you a real uh, compliment for that. Uh, uh, the table I was on, even though the topic was as simple as, you know, how to get an MBA program, uh, Rao, I forgot his last name, I, he, he was the chair. And I'll give him my A++ for conducting better than I would have conducted when I was his age. You know, he was thoughtful, patient, good listener, covered all the topics, gave everybody a chance. I mean, he's going to grow up to be a great CEO one day of some one of his own companies. So you guys, you guys have tremendous talent. He's from Warrenville, you know, so I noticed on his. Uh, so you have tremendous talent here, and you guys have a head start on what you're doing and networking and bringing people together, sharing ideas. Impacting policy changes in government of India, please, is a very <laughs> complex thing. <laughs> Don't go there because you might lose your lifetime. You know, I, I like not to discourage people. I'm usually very optimistic, but this is one area I'm, I'm not too sure about. Uh, unless you reach the top. now. I had to tell you this, uh, when Manmohan Singh became uh, Prime Minister, um, I got a call from an ambassador who is no longer ambassador, the guy who did the uh, nuclear treaty. Uh, can you remember his name? Sorry. Yeah, Sen. Yeah, he brought us and called me from New York and said, hey, uh, Singh is coming for a UN meeting and he would like to meet with a handful of people and would you please come? And I said, no, no, I won't come because a politician, you know, just stand and shake hand and take picture and do nothing, useless. And, and he's, then he called me, he said, no, 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 he's a very different kind of man, please, please. And even then I felt like, what a waste, you know, go from California all the way to New York and for just one hour meet this guy and find it's all empty and I feel cheated, you know, I, my time is precious to me, even if I'm watching a game, that's okay. But then, uh, what I did, I had a couple of meetings in the East Coast. So I realigned my meeting dates to be close to this. So at least I'll get some benefit of going there. It turned out he is a very different kind of politician. So he sat there, and I was sitting here, and then there were three people here, three people here, and he said, he just read our name plates. We had little cards, and... and uh, At the end of the one hour, we all had assignment, and he had only one goal he had come with. I mean, it was a very smart guy, by the way. He had come with his own goal. We thought we would just bitch about everything that's wrong with the country. Mm -hmm. He just said, look, we need more foreign direct investment. Can you help us bring money? $15 billion or so about it. 
the people from Coca-Cola and Pepsi and McGraw Hill and you know we all worked in working committees for a period of six months. His only one condition was nobody should know that you are doing this work because an Indian. If Indian politician found out or Indian bureaucrats found out that these people, and he says, don't look for any name or fame. Just, if you want to do it out of your heart because you're truly Indian and you want to help, just do it in the background and send it to me. And he actually implemented all of that because he has a friend named Montek Singh. And between those two guys, Montek was the only guy who did more interaction with us. So they, only two people knew that a lot of work actually went behind the scene. He said, I need $10 billion. And it happened. Now, that's the way. You can make things happen, but you have to reach a guy who really means it. I think both, most, both of the politicians there, they might say, I need $10 billion and put nine in their pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last question. As a VC, what is the stage you'll find the business? Is it that a person comes to you with an idea or? Yeah, so we, we, in our current fund, uh, technically it says, in the structure to say we'll do early stage, mid stage, and late stage, and we have done all three. But going forward in India, we felt for us because we are all entrepreneurs. The best stage is early stage. Early stage is when somebody comes with a new idea, Series A or Series B rounds, as we call it. The reason is we found that working with entrepreneurs in India is a lot of work. You might as well get paid for that work if you do early then you can get a lot of ownership for the small amount of money you're giving them. And therefore, we are now in early stage. Amit, do you have a question? Yeah, it's a dog, but I'm sorry about that. Um, you have so, so do you think like, uh, do you value collaboration and do you work more like individual excellence? Or in general, like to be successful, or coming to be successful, it is more about collaboration and you work in the IT. And then, that, like, what do you think about our education system? Because when we are growing up, it, it teaches us to focus on individual excellence. You know, like we are preparing for PED or JE. And then, you know, we lose the focus on when we work because that's because our system is built like that. It's, it's more about that. What rank do you get in your examination that where you will end up? Instead of, you know, helping your friends and then, you know, make it, and that's how our training becomes. Until, until I came to the US, uh, and and did a here. It was all about what, what rank do you get and you know how, much, how what percentage you have rather than collaborating and creating a lot of collaboration. No, it's, uh, I cannot imagine building Pentiums and inventing the flashes without a teamwork. Goes without saying. That doesn't take away that you need individuals who also put out their best, but they have to work with other individuals because you're not an island by yourself. It, it, it's, interdependent on so many things for it to really come to life. So collaboration is absolutely essential. I cannot imagine doing anything. Now, as long as, as, uh, as far as India and rank and rating, I think it's, from what I understand, it's beginning to change. Uh, I'm hoping it does. At least in Indian School of Business where I was, they do collaboration. There is teamwork for the MBA program, you know, things of that nature. Uh, it's just a learning cycle, you know, we are on different stage in learning cycle, like we believe in reincarnation and fury of journeys through our life, and India is on a different stage in its journey, and I think it'll happen, but look, it's producing you guys, you're brilliant, you're smart, you're absolutely uh, somebody that this country cherishes, and that's why you're here. So give yourself a bat for that. So I would like to thank uh, Vinod Dham for taking his uh, valuable time. Open networking. Thank you. Thank you, guys.